This tutorial covers the various control methods of using master EMM levels on the Cayenne and Carrera switchers. The main purpose of master EMM is to combine control of multiple parts of the switcher. Master EMM consists of 31 levels of control. All of these levels are visible to the operator on the Cayenne panel. The Carrera panel master EMM module has only 20 levels available on the panel. Although all 31 master EMM levels exist in the switcher and can be used from the menu, one master EMM recall can control any combination of levels such as multiple ME banks simultaneously or an ME bank, an image store channel, an AUX bus output and trigger a GPI. Before starting to build any effects, it is important to know how each EMM level is configured. To examine the EMM configuration, select the User Setups, Suite Prefs, EMM Prefs menu. This will display all of the programmable items of the switcher that can be moved between the EMM level buttons. The items that can be programmed to the different levels are ME partitions, AUX buses, background colors, macros, devices and clip store channels, PBUS devices, GPI outputs, image store channels, router RMEM, Q memory, EDPM control, bus links, camera control, match def, and set def. Note that the ME banks themselves do not appear in the list as they are dedicated to the level buttons for ME's 1 to 4 and the program ME primary and secondary buttons. To see how each switcher item is configured, choose the desired item to call up the level assignment page. A good example of how assigned levels can be changed is to examine the image store control. The Grass Valley default assignment is for each channel of the image store to be dedicated to the specific miscellaneous buttons 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, and 19. These are named IS-1 through IS-6. Each of the levels can be named to aid in identifying what is assigned to that level. The level names will appear in the Recall Run menu. The panel names will appear on the Cayenne Panel Master EMEM module. The Carrera panel has fixed button caps, so the levels will remain named Miscellaneous 1 through 8 on the panel. To build an effect that includes ME1 and Image Store Channel 5, turn on the levels required on the Master EMEM panel, in this case ME1 and IS-5, and learn the effect into Master EMEM register. This will learn the current status of ME1 and the image number currently loaded into Image Store Channel number 5. Note that this only remembers the image number, not the image itself. So to enable the effect to be recalled correctly, it is also necessary to save the image store images being used independently of the effects that use them and reload the images prior to recalling the effects. Refer to the image store tutorial on how to do this. When using Master EMEM to learn switcher setups, any combination of levels can be enabled. To ensure that effects will be recalled as learned, the Auto Recall button should be turned on. Auto Recall enables Master EMEM recalls to change only the parts of the switcher that are being used in each effect. Auto Recall must be on prior to the learn, as well as being on prior to the recall. If an effect is learned with Auto Recall off, it will not recall if Auto Recall is on when you try to recall the effect. Auto Recall is usually only turned off for some effect editing operations. This provides the flexibility of recalling an image store channel, AUX bus or GPI trigger with one effect on ME2 at one point during a show and then recall another combination of levels at a different point in a show. Returning to the EMEM Preferences menu, 
two image store channels can be combined together by assigning them to the same button. In this case, IS1 and IS2 are assigned to Miscellaneous 13. This has now freed up Miscellaneous 17 for use to control another part of the switcher, as well as locking control of both channels of the image store together so that using Miscellaneous 13 button will now always control both channels of the image store. This may or may not be desirable depending upon how the channels are being used. It would be useful to rename the Miscellaneous 13 and Miscellaneous 17 buttons to reflect the change on the Cayenne panel. In this case, we'll name the level controlling the two image store channels IS12, and we'll leave the Miscellaneous 17 name blank as it now has nothing assigned to it. Making changes of this nature will affect any effects that have already been built that use these switcher components. So moving control of IS2 away from Miscellaneous 17 will prevent any effects that have previously been built that used Miscellaneous 17 level to control Image Store Channel 2 from recalling images of that channel. For this reason, it is best to make these changes before creating effects for a show and to make sure that the Sweet Prefs files are saved with the related EMEM effects in a single show file. This will help ensure that the EMEM preferences and the EMEMs that relate to them will be available together. A couple of other features need to be mentioned in regard to EMEM preferences. The programmable items can also be assigned to one of the ME levels as well as any of the miscellaneous levels. Again, we'll use an image store channel as an example. Moving Image Store Channel 2 to ME1 does two things. One, any learn and recall on ME1 will also always control the Image Store Channel 2 now associated with ME1. The Image Store Channel can now be controlled from the local ME, EMEM module on the panel, as well as from the master EMEM. This method of control may or may not be desirable. The other choices for control of the EMM preferences are not assigned and definable. Not assigned is very useful for turning off EMM control of any item that does not change during a show. This can include image store or clip store channels, aux buses, GPIs, etc. that may be controlled in some shows but not others. It also allows the miscellaneous levels to be tailored to the exact requirements of a particular show and any item not being controlled can be removed from EMM control. The last choice available with EMM preferences is definable. This allows an item such as an image store channel to be floating and not tied to a specific level. In this case, an item can be associated with any EMM effect and not with any specific EMEM level. This method of operation requires the use of EMEM sublevels and is covered under a different tutorial. The general rule when using master EMEM is to check the EMEM prefs setup prior to building any effects. This would not be required if you are using a show file and the state of the EMEM prefs is known. The second important point to note is the Grass Valley default assigns the ME partition information to miscellaneous level 9. The partition information controls the ME mode, normal, programmable clean feed, or split mode. This ME mode control is often best related to the primary ME levels so that the local recall on ME2 can change the ME mode of that ME rather than having it set by a master EMEM recall. Similarly, all AUX buses on the local AUX panel are assigned to Miscellaneous 10. So if this level is selected for a master EMEM learn, it will remember the state of all of the local AUX buses that were assigned to the local AUX panel, usually the first 25 or 35 AUX buses. It is always a good idea to check the EMEM preferences 
and verify how each of the different items are being controlled from Master Emem before building effects. This concludes the tutorial on Emem levels.